Here's some motivation for 2024. The stronger they get, the weaker you become. It might sound a little bit odd or strange because I reversed the quote. The quote's usually, the stronger you get, the weaker they become. I find that to be a little bit of bullshit um, when it comes to a motivational standpoint because you want to have sort of an edge. Put yourself against the world or your competition, um, whether that be in some kind of physical competition or maybe it's just at work between you and your coworkers, you know, fighting for a promotion um, or just you yourself putting yourself in a mental state where you want to be the best version of yourself day in and day out. So I think it helps to reverse the quote and look at it from a different standpoint from the traditional sense. Um, like for me, I want to do the best I can every day, try hard, um, take the steps that I need to do to keep improving myself. And the way I want to look at it is the days that I take off, I don't try my best or work hard. That's one step closer than the competition gets to me. Or if somebody's already ahead of me and I'm trying to catch them, that's just one more step that I have to take or one more day I have to try harder or find one more thing that I have to do to catch them. Now you might say, that doesn't make sense. Well, all right, so maybe you set the standard for everybody else, all right? So let's just say you can lift 100 pounds right now. They can only lift 50. Well, they keep working hard. You just stay the same. They eventually catch up to you at that 100-pound level. Well, guess what? That's now the standard. Now, everybody's at your level. Now, what are you going to do to differentiate yourself from everybody else? You know, you used to set the standard. You used to be the gold bar at your workplace or maybe just in life or at the gym or whatever. Well, they all worked hard and caught your level now. So now everybody's equal. What makes you stand out? So that's why I look at it from a different perspective and try to stay ahead of the competition, if that makes sense at all. Um, I know I might stumble with this explanation a little bit, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. Um, so if you're at work, you don't do your best day in and day out. So maybe today you go into work, it's Monday. Or maybe it's Friday. You just fluff around because the weekend's coming. Or you just got off the weekend. The boss is actually doing evals today. You didn't know that. Not that that should make a difference because you should be going to work every day, trying your best, putting in the hours, earning your paycheck. But let's just say you're having a bad day at work. The boss is doing evals today. The next day you come in, coworker gets a promotion because your boss saw you not trying your best that day where you're uh, co-workers doing more work than you so they got the promotion that day now not everybody might be aware of what the work that you put in day in and day out for that job but that one day that you actually get eval and you fluffed around that's the day that you get screwed over um, same with the gym like that gym aspect or competition aspect let's just say you're having a bad day could be like baseball or something you start missing a foul ball, you get down on yourself, so you go up the bat, you end up striking out because you took yourself out of it mentally because you, you don't um, have that right mindset. Could just be with, like, food as well. So it's holiday season. We're just getting off, you know, Christmas, New Year's. So you just picked out a little bit. Well, guess what? Now the gym's a little bit harder. You're going for your runs a little bit harder because you ate all that unhealthy food. Um, you didn't sleep well. You stayed up late. So now the competition that you're trying to catch or stay ahead of ate right those last couple days. They slept right. They're doing the things that they need to do to reach their goals for the year. Where you took a back seat to those goals. Now they're catching you or staying ahead of you or getting ahead of you a lot farther, increasing that gap or shrinking that gap depending on how you look at it so if they're behind you they shrunk that gap to catch you if they're already ahead of you they increase that gap so with that mindset the, the stronger they get the weaker you become it just changes the perspective on how to look at things when you're trying to do like competition or just do the best version of yourself if that makes any sense um no i'm stumbling a little bit because i'm actually tired myself not sleeping good in the last couple of days but um just look at that quote a little bit differently reverse it and I think it's good motivation for going into 2024 for me personally it gives me more of an edge and more of like I don't want to say ego based but it gives me more of a drive 
and want to reach my goals a little bit more when I'm looking at the competition from the aspect they're trying to catch me and not me trying to catch the competition or stay ahead. Like, be fully aware that there's people out there when you do good and you achieve things in life, they want to knock you down, uh, destroy you, see you fail. And I think that helps uh, reversing the quote as well. If you look at it like that aspect, it helps you stay ahead and do the right things, um, hopefully all the time. But I know that's not always the case because we're all going to have those times where uh, we're not our best or 100%. You know, we could be sick or whatnot. Or again, maybe it's our birthday. We want to have that cheat meal um, here or there. I understand that. But if you get into that mentality where you do actually want to try your best and do your best day in and day out and take those steps you're going to be so much better by the end of the year if you try to stay ahead of the competition or do the right things um so people can't tear you down look down upon you um in any type of those situations it's kind of hard to explain what i really mean but i, I think you really get the gist um I hope this helps you in 2024. Maybe I'll redo this later, but again, I, I'm going to say, if, like, from my perspective, I want to find a way that keeps me motivated throughout the year, um, pushing hard so I can reach my goals. Um, like, for instance, I want to get faster at races, uh, set some new personal bests, and I want to be able to like win races or beat some of the people that I've never beat before. So I have to look at it like that, that I'm chasing them. Um, and I want to stay ahead of some of the people that I know they're chasing me. So I don't want them to become better per se. Like I want to see them improve, but I don't want them to get ahead of me. I want to always constantly improve as well um, to reach new goals and set that bar higher. And it also helps if you keep setting the bar higher and higher, it actually elevates people as well who might be behind you. And it sets a good example for um, you to be a role model as well. Because if you, so let's just say I run a 20 minute 5k. Um, I, my PR is actually like 17, 19. So I want to lower it down into the 16s this year, hopefully. So people see that and they see the steps that I'm taking and they want to, you know, beat me at a race or do the things that I do so they can improve as well. So I'm not only raising the bar for myself, but the people below me. Um, so you're not just trying to stay ahead of the competition and beat the competition at all the time or, um, you know, looking good for that promotion so you could, you know, be financially set for your family um, and help other people out within the community, like donating, things like that when you get a raise at a job. But you got to look at it from the perspective as well is when you do good and people look up to you, they want to do and reach those levels that you're at as well. Um, trying to think of what to say about that. But just, again, you could look at it from a role model perspective, not just an ego-based um, edge perspective. Like when I said that I want to beat the competition, be the best that I could be, well, being the best out there. Well, that's more of an ego competition-based aspect to look at it, but also look at it from a role model perspective as well, is you're raising the bar and people will look up to you and do the things that you're doing so they can raise their level as well. So it's a big circle um, going into 2024. I hope this reaches some people. Um, I didn't write this up at all, so I did uh, stumble a little bit, but uh, hopefully you get what I'm trying to say um, when I'm talking about the stronger they get, the weaker you become. It just puts you in a mindset where it should want, should make you want to achieve your best and do your best year round, doing the little things to get better, to stay ahead of your competition, um, not really look down upon them or try to defeat them but just stay ahead of them because it raises your level as well as theirs um, but if you're trying to catch somebody it might put that little bit of fire underneath your ass um, on those days that you want to take off or you know eat unhealthy um, or slack at work 
just might light that fire a little bit more instead of keeping it smoldering. Um, so you put in forth that extra effort to catch that person um, because it does work that way as well. Um, because the stronger they get, that the weaker you become. So if they're already ahead of you and they keep doing things to increase their abilities um, or show their show your boss that you know they're putting in longer hours or whatever the case may be, but you're taking time off, slacking off, well, they're looking better. And if they're doing something physically, um, we'll just say it's like running. Maybe they're putting in more miles or speed work and you're just hanging back just doing your same old routine well that's just a lot more things that you have to do to catch up to them to reach their level um, so it's sort of a big circle where everybody's I don't want to say in competition with each other but in reality in life we are um, nobody wants to be the low man on the totem pole nobody wants to be the slowest person out there uh, nobody wants to be fighting paycheck to paycheck so we do have to, in a, a sense, be in competition between everybody um, day to day. I mean, that's just the gist of it. I mean, you hate to look at it that way, but you sort of have to. And it goes the same thing with our health. Um, if you want to look at it from a health perspective, you know, each day we should be doing things to uh, increase our health, our longevity, um, and just having a better life in general so if you're eating bad if you're drinking you're smoking uh, doing drugs um, not exercising those things are taken away from your life um, your longevity and just just your general um, way of life I guess I can't remember I can't you know what I'm saying so you're just decreasing your lifestyle um, and the things that you're able to do so there is multi-facets to this quote and aspects that are deeper than I really want to get into in like a 15 minute spill, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say for motivation for 2024. I hope you use this um, to keep you going in those low times as well. So just remember the stronger they get, the weaker you become.